your words and your actions can cause manifestation to occur. Because there's always a spiritual entity listening and watching to bring your blessings, prosperity, your prayers. This can be for good and this could be for bad. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about what is entitled the law of attraction and the spirit realm. How it relates to manifestation, the spirit realm, and how it relates to the law of attraction. And how your intent and heart amplifies, it gives power to your words and your actions. So, the spirit realm is always listening, always listening and watching. We understand this from two accounts, two examples. Daniel 4, 30 is from two kings of Babylon. First, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. He had a dream that Daniel interpreted and told him that if he didn't humble himself, paraphrase and, 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 and explain that he basically, if he didn't humble himself, he didn't listen. He was warned that he would be, his king would be taken away and that he would find himself driven like an animal on four legs. He would lose his sense of reasoning. He would become like a beast. And this very thing happened, but it was released by his words. His words were filled with pride. Daniel 4.30, he says, Is not this the great Babylon I have built as the royal residence? By my power and for the glory of my majesty, he was void of the fear of the Lord. He did not give glory to God. And it says here, and this is a key, even as the words were on his lips, before he finished speaking, a voice came from heaven and told him, this is what is decreed for you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Your royal authority has been taken away from you. You will be driven away from the people and will live with the wild animals. This all stemmed from his words. That was a manifestation of the pride of his heart, the intent of his heart. So this relates to the law of attraction and manifestation that our words have power stem from our heart and our intent. Our words have power and our actions have power. That the spirit realm, angels, God are listening and they respond to our words, respond to our actions. That this is the unseen realm, how things manifested how things are manifested is from a words that release things in the spirit realm, release angels to act, whether for positive law of attraction manifestation or negative law of attraction manifestation. This account with King Nebuchadnezzar and the other one with King Belshazzar was a negative law of attraction manifestation because something negative happened to them by their words and their actions. You see, that being with the spirit realm listening now, with the other account with King Belshazzar, Belshazzar basically took the holy artifacts, particularly goblets, which the cups from the, the, the temple, and he had a party, and he had his friends, his concubines and wives, to drink from that cup. And they praised the gods of gold and silver and wood. They gave glory to Idols that had, could not speak, could not talk, could not walk, could not heal. They gave glory to everything but God. Now, this, this sin was ten times worse than Nebuchadnezzar because Belshazzar was the son. As it says in the scripture that Belshazzar was the, that, that um, King, King Nebuchadnezzar is, is the father of Belshazzar. So obviously Belshazzar would know what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar by not giving glory to God, you see. So, so only back in the, 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 the message here is that the last account we see with King, ne King Nebuchadnezzar is that his words release things to be, things to be uh, put into motion in the spirit realm that was mass manifest manifested in the natural. He was driven out of society into uh, the forest like a wild animal. He, he lost his sense of reasoning by his words, by his pride. The scripture says, if you 
Exalt yourself, you'll be humble. But if you humble yourself, you'll be exalted. Exalted. Now, a lot of times when people exalt themselves, it's by the words and their actions. But it's Lucifer saying, I will send to heaven be greater than the most high. It was his words, his boastful words. We understand the Antichrist, which is an embodiment of Satan. He is referred to as full of boastful words. Obviously, not giving glory to God, that he sets himself in the temple as God. So with King Nelsazar, we didn't regard the, the, the authority of God. He gave glory to everything but God, the supreme God. All others are idols. And he, 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 he used a, a holy artifact in an unholy way. So, so his actions caused him to lose the kingdom. Belshazzar with the writing on the wall, which happened right as they were drinking from the holy cups, the holy goblets. Right as they were drinking from the holy goblets, their actions. There was the spirit of realm was watching. And then you see with the writing on the wall that happened as they were drinking from the goblets, the writing, the hand manifested and wrote on the wall. In the language which Daniel interpreted essentially that his kingdom was being taken away from him. You see, it was by his actions that stem from the intent of his heart, the lack of the lack of regard to God and the fear of the Lord and full of pride. So his actions caused a release in the spirit realm. Because the spirit realm was watching and the spirit realm was listening at all times. The reason why the spirit realm can listen and watch at all times is because when we are, the spirit realm is not in time, not our time. You see, we move at a different time. Into uh, the spirit realm, this world, this world is transient. The higher realms are more concrete, you see. So, so they have more leeway to be watching, listening at all times. And there are certain entities that are positioned purposely to listen and watch and report back to higher authorities and to God. But the key message that I'm, that, that I'm giving you here is that the spirit of Rome is always listening and watching. And that our words and our actions is what releases things in the unseen realm to be manifest in the natural realm. As I mentioned, King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and it was, it was prophesied to him what would happen. That happened 12 months later, a year later, and it was released though by his words. It was released by his words. So it already happened a year earlier. It was already foreseen in a dream. But it only happened a year later by releasing of his words. Then as he was speaking, before he can finish, a voice was heard from heaven. And then manifestation occurred. Your words and your actions can cause manifestation to occur. Because there's always a spiritual entity listening and watching to bring your blessings, prosperity, your prayers. This can be for good and this can be for bad. Well, if you enjoyed this video, if you need any prayer consultation, questions, comment down below. And I have an email address down below, which you can email me as well. I'll see you on the next one.